Okay, so this is technique of how to soul shift. First of all, we need to calm down and quiet our mind because we're about to go beyond the mind. If the mind is very fast, it'll be hard. So we need to um, slow down our breath um, and um, go deeper in um, the alpha brain waves. We can do it by slowing the breath to its natural, your natural slow pattern. Not necessarily um, making it too slow so it's uncomfortable. So you can breathe simply, listening to your body, how it feels for you to relax. So take your time, find that breath. And it'll take you probably several minutes to breathe like this before you start to feel how your mind is literally, and your body is literally just relaxing. Then we will do a more rapid breath work into this chakra, Ajna. Um, with this breath, you will be pumping the um, energy to your third eye. So let's do it like this. It's like fast inhales and slow inhales. Close your eyes. Focus. You can do like 30 to 50 breaths like this until you start to feel how your mind almost um, becomes like opened up, opens like this. Then you take one big breath, hold the breath, swallow your breath into your lower belly and slowly exhale. Hold your breath at the bottom of your belly. Hold your breath while your lungs are empty for as long as you want, as you can actually, until you feel your mind start to almost like pulsate or you start to feel like I'm going to uh, suffocate myself. And then slowly inhale. When you do this practice, your mind will become steel, like a, like a, like a pond. It will be become very still. You might want to do it another time and maybe third time, depending on how addicted you are to thinking and how restless your mind is. So do this breath until you feel almost like you're falling in this meditating state, meditative state. It's not like you're falling asleep, like your awareness is full and present, but your mind is very still. So that's the feeling, that's the sensation. Then you want to shift your attention from here to a little bit, little bit above your head. And this feels almost like relaxing your focus um, of your soul and relaxing yourself into this um, part of yourself, which is your soul. So the body is like a little attachment and your soul goes like this into the infinity. And so when you shift yourself from your mind to the part that's right here, in yoga, they do this mudra, in Kundalini yoga. And so this pretty much find how you find the point of where you shift your attention from here to here. And if you focus here, first you can try to focus hard, but truly you need to just relax your focus and feel yourself here. This shift will happen. And when you stay here a little bit longer, you will feel this bliss, this really, really sweet feeling, like almost like you're coming home after a long trip and you're resting. And so stay there as much as you can. You can remove your mudra and just keep your attention there and just rest there like Buddha, contemplating your own self.
And if you want to go higher, you can extend your arms like this above your hand, holding mudra like this, and shift your attention even higher. Bring your attention here, to the, at the very top of your fingers. Stay there again and contemplate. Your attention will shift from here to here. It might, and, and beyond. It might take a little bit of time, but don't effort. Just stay there and it will come to you. Your soul will come to you when you're asking it to come. Um, and what happens here is very personal because um, I work with thousands of people and every soul feels different. It's like different color or different flavor of bliss. Everyone's blissful, everybody's love, but it's just slightly different. Um, I cannot describe in human words how a soul feels. The closest is bliss, but like, like one lady was, I told her, I felt she felt, I felt her like she was this cute fluffy kitten with blue eyes that is soft and very, very adorable. Um, <laughs> you know, when you just want to hold it, it's so cute. So she was like that. And another person, a man, was so, so much love and so much power, almost like angelic being. So, you know, everybody's very different. So find your soul. And now, once you tap into it with your eyes closed, um, you will need to learn how to open your eyes and still hold that sensation or that focus, the soul focus. And then you can stand up and walk around still holding this focus. And then you can practice anywhere you are. Let's say you are um, walking on the street or you at your work in a desk uh, or um, you're talking to a friend. And while you're doing that, that's more advanced practice. But while you're doing that, if you remember to soul shift and let's say sense that person uh, with now your soul, the perception of the, of the person will be very different. You basically will understand the essence of that person. You, this is also, when you start sensing with your soul, your supernatural abilities um, activate. So you can read person's mind right away. You know how this person feels right away. Um, you can, um, um, basically know everything about that person and when you in your soul space which is always heavenly other people will feel um, very comfortable around you also like more relaxed um, more at home almost so this practice has many many gifts um, you can make correct decisions for yourself. You can uh, remember your true passions, your, I don't like to say soul purpose, but you will know what you as a soul want from this life and what is the next step to do and what is your like uh, mission or calling or passion or desire. Uh, in this incarnation, in this body, in this time here on earth, like why are you here basically? And so your life will be more fulfilled. And, uh, and very rewarding. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the, the, the main thing is practice. And it's a beautiful practice. I don't start my day without this practice because uh, I don't feel quite um, aligned. Um, when I wake up in the morning, when we all wake up in the morning, uh, our soul left the body for the whole night, for like many hours. And now your body becomes a little bit more uncomfortable, distorted, tense. So the first thing in the morning, 
maybe hydrate, you know, drink glass of water, but then you need to do this meditation and bring your soul into your body because it will open your channels of, of it will it will fill your body with the energy of you. I do stretching just because it opens the body the, the, as a physical apparatus, it's physical it opens all the channels, and then I breathe and I and I bring myself into the body. Because your body without you is just um, it's corpse, right? Even if it's uh, you know, even if it's operate even if it's operating, it's like a vegetable. It has consciousness of its own. I'm talking about it in many other videos. Uh, the body consciousness, the mind has its own consciousness, but your soul is the highest consciousness. And so make your soul be the prime consciousness versus listening to the consciousness of your body, which is based on fear and survival. Um, and also the same thing with mind. It's very ego-based, it's competition, it's war. There is no war in the place of soul. There's only bliss, there's only creativity, there's peace, connection, communication. And uh, that's how you can enter your individual heaven on earth um, in this realm and how we can create it together by connecting to ourselves. So if you have any questions or if you, you know, let me know how it goes for you. You can find me and follow me on uh, YouTube, obviously, uh, TikTok, Instagram. My website is Anya Deva, and on any platforms, I'm Anya Deva. You can find me like that. Let me know if you need help. Um, I'll, I'm here for you. Okay. Bye. Thank you for watching.